Hello everyone and welcome back to my Beyond History series in Kerbal Space Program 1.1.3. In this episode I begin with a little bit of a puzzle because while we have the flag Newcast at Deimos Lowlands, we do not appear to have Newcast. Uh, the light lander that Newcast was using to get to Deimos and then to eventually transfer to Phobos is not present. This light lander is the defunct one that is in a suborbital trajectory with one end in Mars' atmosphere. That is not the one that Newcast is in. That one does not have power. Um, so, we've got a problem. And it's not the debris either. Uh, toggling debris, let me just see. It doesn't add anything. Nope. So, that's... Yeah, that's an, that's an issue. So, what I'm going to do is a KAC Kerbal Alarm Clock does uh, make some backup saves, as does uh, the game in a backup folder. So I'm going to try and restore one of those and see if that helps, but otherwise we may be in trouble. Let's see. Hmm, okay, well this one is from too far back. It is before we did the whole Deimos thing. This is when we were trying to get them to the station to pick up new CAS, uh, both the Light Lander and the UDMH Depot. All right, let me try another one. Oh, 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 oh okay. Um, I found one where new CAS is was present, and new CAS was landed at Deimos's craters, but it just hopped him up. I don't know how he managed to die in the other saves. I certainly don't recall anything about that. But, okay, well that's escape. I don't really need him on escape right now. But it's, I guess our policy will have to be that it's not a good idea to leave a Kerbal in Deimos SOI. Um, landed, I mean, we've, we've had a probe landed on here for ages now. And that seemed fine. But something about being left in the SOI, not such a good deal. Well, that should be fine, actually. We're going up. We can exit like that. We're left with some inclination to Phobos. Not too sure how that works out. But I think we can be comfortable with this approach. All right. Let's keep a close eye on Newcast to make sure that Newcast doesn't bite the dust again. We'll finally get to dispose of this tank. That's good. Okay, we are turning to the node and let's get Newcast out of here before Deimos eats him again. I don't know how it happened. We were in a stable orbit around Deimos last time I had checked, but... Okay, it wasn't a crash into the surface thing. Um, I think we left him at like 10 kilometers, which, you know, this right here is 12. So a circular 10 kilometer orbit should clear everything at Deimos. Okay, but anyway, here we go. Settle the fuel down, which already puts us on escape. We do have stored data, but I thought we had more. Surface sample, surface sample, bio sample. I thought we had three surface samples. I swear. Maybe... Maybe it got us on landing, but we hadn't actually done the science at uh, Deimos' craters. I don't think we got the science from the craters. I think it this, this save is before we got the science from the craters. Well, anyway. What's done is done. So... You know, we lost some science out of it because, for some reason, the game wanted to kill Newcast. Look how fast Deimos is going away. Okay, off goes that tank. I don't know why the node is not still here, but alright. I guess we'll just do that outside of Deimos SOI. Okay, so that's that, and then we'll have an inclination correction here, and that'll cost 60 meters per second to match inclinations, that's not bad. Okay, 0.13 to 0.14 degrees is the best we can do right now. 
So let me plot a periapsis where we're eventually going to meet up with Phobos and we're going to bring that orbit down. Well that's a pretty close approach. Let's just try and finagle that then. That'll be in four days but we've actually got time. I mean UCAS can survive for 60 days in this pod. Okay, well, there's a Phobos periapsis for now. Okay, so we will wait, but let's use the reaction wheel to ensure that we are facing the sun. Okay, Newcast has made a few orbits of Mars here and is coming in for the burn point, which will allow that encounter with Phobos. We're just behind Phobos here. We're cutting in front here, you can see. Not exactly how I should have done it, but it's fine. And uh, we were able to recharge this fine, so this solar panel re is pretty good. And there's Phobos, I think. It's just right there. Yep, tiny. There's Mars, there's Phobos. Life is good, really. I don't know how we got a relative inclination of 1.15. Um, we started out with 0.14. I don't remember doing any burns to cause a problem. Not a whole degree's worth, but whatever. Okay, it seems like anything I do is making it worse, so let's not do anything just yet. Though there's still some residual thrust, it looks like. It's not showing an encounter per se. It's not even showing a closest approach distance um, on the on the map here. Well, I might just brute force this. Point at target. I do have to. Whoop, 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 that went too far. Keep an eye on the relative velocity. Okay, well, we have a very low relative velocity to it, but what are we going to do with that exactly? Well, the closest approach distance is changing even though I'm not applying any thrust. That's not supposed to happen. Well, I'll just go by Mechjeb's closest approach distance. So let's go there. It's increasing though. Okay, time warp sells it down. That's good. Um, well, we are definitely in Phobos SOI because 39 kilometers. Let's just quickly go orbit retrograde. RCS on now. Where's Phobos? Pretty close to it. There it is. Make sure we don't smack into it. Uh, we're sort of in a smacking sort of situation though. Yes, we are. Um, radial, well, either radial one will be fine. There we go, that's better. Okay. We are in orbit around Phobos at long last. Um, we might as well get the landing gear down. We brought it along, we might as well use it now. It's basically going to be sitting on the lander can's bottom anyway. And before we do landing operations, let's retract panels. And let's do... I don't know if this is high over. Let's check. Let's see what kind of crew report we get. High over Phobos. Alright. Well, transmit that. And EVA. EVA report. Keep. Board and transmit that keep keep keep
And I don't think uh, we need to do the instruments, but I'll double check. Not for high over. Oh wait, uh, gravity scan high over Phobos's Midlands we haven't done. Gravity scan, always the best because it's dependent on the surface biome even when you're high over it. Okay, this is lowlands. I I'm going to aim for lowlands here. So, surface, negative velocity. Make sure we're on surface. And slow down. Okay, I think the line for space just above Phobos' lowlands was about 5,000 or 4,800. Anyway, we are there and we can do the science. So, crew report. And I don't know if we've done the other science in lowlands. Let's see, log temperature. No, we have not. Temperature scan is new. Impact data from micrometeorite detector is new. Okay, looking good. Very smooth. Yep, yeah, there we go. Wow, it's firmly planted too. It doesn't... Well, I don't know, let's just double check that. Maybe it was trying to float off. Okay, so... Uh, well, let's get the crew report. Transmit. Get the sciences. All very good scientific information that we're getting. All right, EVA time, Newcast. All right, so EVA report, keep. Surface sample, keep. Plant a flag. Oop, he hopped a bit. Newcast at Phobos Lowlands. Hmm. I don't want to make reference about him almost being dead or otherwise wiped out from the save. I think we'll just leave it at that. You have to be... You don't want to tempt fate by mentioning that, I think. Or, no, go down. Okay, let's transmit that EVA report. And keep the rest. Okay, how's our science? 3,000 now. Okay, so let's go up. <clears throat> let's go up. Once we change biomes, we'll just cut our horizontal speed and land there. Minor craters? Grooves? Grooves? Grooves sound... groovy. I was not expecting grooves. Okay, I'm just gonna have RCS push us towards the surface, of course. Well, just before we hit the grooves, it also said craters. So there's another biome just nearby. Newcast could probably walk there. But we also want all the other instruments. Uh, speaking of which, let's get on with the crew report. Transmit. And I bet we haven't hit grooves before, have we? So that's new. That's generic, so that we don't have to do ever again. Same with... Oh! Thermometer... We've already done Phobos' grooves with a thermometer somehow? Don't remember that. And we've already done a gravity scan. Hmm. Intriguing. We're less than a kilometer away from the lowlands. Oh, I haven't done the EVA. That we can't have done before. Oh, this is just near Phobos. It's not biome dependent. Yeah, we're just 748 meters away from the lowlands. Well, groove does imply a sort of slope, doesn't it? Sort of plant ourselves on here. Push down, push down, push down. Okay, crew report. Grooves, transmit. Well, we haven't gotten surface signs from the grooves before. Um, it says gravity scan from Phobos' grooves we've done before. Did I really get to this? 
with that little lander as well? That's incredible. Okay, Newcast CVA. I don't suppose holding on makes any sort of difference. Nope. Okay. No, no, don't go too far. You may depart from the groove. Nope, 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 nope. Down, down, down. Stay in the groove. Take surface sample. Yes, groove. And EV report. And plant a flag. New casts in the groove. Groovy. I mean, come on, right? Okay, so the thing is... Let's see if we can't just EVA. Well, we should store our EVA thing anyway. Maybe we should just have the ladder hop. Landing again is a pain, but it'll give us all the sciences. So, well, I thought the craters were in this direction, but it's not giving me craters. It's just stuck on grooves. Minor craters, there we go. Well, now that we're over here, let me just check log pressure data. Well, that, that's done anyway. Ah, minor craters we have not done with the gravity scan. <laughs> we're just a stone's throw away from new casts in the groove and the lowlands. This is very convenient. And let's stick ourselves to it. Okay, good. Temperature, yes. New. Orbital perturbation is good. Pressure data, also good. And it is time to step outside. I'm not going to plant another flag. We've already got two flags within less than a kilometer of each other. It might be pushing it. I don't have anything funny to say about minor craters. So we're keeping that and keeping that. Well, that's that's a lot. Um, we're almost at 4,000. Let's lift off again. Let's continue heading south. Since that has treated us well so far. Easy access to many biomes. Well, there's Mars, the nighttime side of Mars. We're, we're awfully well lit. Uh, guys, where does it think Phobos is exactly? Deimos is in the right place, but why? Okay, let's go out of map view in a map view. Ah! Why is Phobos here? Uh... This isn't right. Th well, that certainly explains why the lighting situation was a little bit weird. Um... Well, not... I mean, it, it wasn't that weird, but... This is, this is weirder than was necessary to explain the lighting situation. I... This is bad, though. Phobos cannot stay here. I'm not using N-body physics. I'm not using Principia. These things are not supposed to move about. It still shows Phobos' orbit line up there. Well, if this sort of thing happened with Deimos, that would certainly explain why Newcast ended up, like, uh, disappearing. This is some peculiar stuff. Once we're... Oh, Midlands. Uh, do we, do we even want to land? I mean, I guess. I mean, we've got a lot of Delta V. So, yeah. Pretty sure we have enough to get back to the station and still be able to land a few times. But this is getting dodgy. I mean, I wonder if I go on escape, what kind of orbit it's going to put me into. In fact, we could check that out. I could go on escape by just going down fast. So let's do that. Radiation is new. 
and orbital perturbation is new. Okay, so now we're on escape. What kind of orbit does that leave us in? Oh, okay, well that's, that's fine then, right? Yeah, that's the orbit we want to be put into. So that's okay. That's not uh, cause for alarm. So we're definitely not leaving Newcast in Phobos SOI at the end of this at the end of this episode. That's not going to happen. That would just be a bad idea. EVA is not necessary. I feel like free camera is a good idea at this point since we're very tilted towards the terrain. Okay, touchdown. Let's plant ourselves into the surface. Looks stable to me. And Phobos is Midlands. Confirmed. Let's see. Geiger Mueller tube is good. Gravity scan confirmed. And pressure data confirmed. And finally, crew report. This is pretty mountainous for uh, Midland but okay. Looks like quite a steep hill kind of thing. Okay, surface sample, keep. EVA report, keep. Planet flag. Okay, new cast at Phobos Midlands. And why are they moving Phobos? This isn't uh, Kim Stanley Robinson novel. Oh, capitalize. Capitalize, please. Exclamation mark and question mark, of course. Okay. Well, let's let's get out of Phobos before it does weirder things. I think we're pressing our luck here. I've got four biomes. I ought to be satisfied with that. Many surface samples that we have stored here. I mean, I think it's close to 2,000 signs that we've got stored, and we've got 4,400 there. Let's try and get Newcast back to the station now. Do we have some fuel in order to do more biome hopping at Phobos? Sure. I mean, it doesn't take that much to get from one biome to another on Phobos, but I think I want to resolve this. I mean, it's getting worse. I swear it's dropping further and further away. Um, yeah, I, that just worries the heck out of me, so... I don't want to take any more chances. Okay, we're at 40 degrees north. Um, let's go east and our inclination should be, well, it should be about 41 degrees, right? We want to be higher than that on the apoapsis. Um, I think the flag just got destroyed. We didn't record any per uh, impact data, darn it. Okay, that's five kilometers all the way around, which will keep us in 10x time warp territory. Uh huh. Well, okay. Trying to figure out how to get back to the station. Um, maybe we should just break orbit first and then worry about it. Um, the other option is to wait until Phobos is right there, and then break orbit and bring our orbit down. You know, that's, that's a possibility, but Phobos' gravity isn't that much, and we might as well just go ahead and break orbit now. Probably won't matter too much. Let's just go orbit prograde. Let's not even wait for this node. Let's get out of here. And off we go. We are getting away before things go horribly wrong. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Phew. But Phobos is all the way back. I mean, it's just, 
it just throws me off. Phobos is Phobos is there now. It's progressively going further and further away. I thought it was supposed to, uh, you know, break up, um, get closer to Mars and break up, not get shot off like that. Anyway, no complaints, no complaints. We can uh, get back to Mars port pretty easily. Let's uh, make a note here. We will adjust our inclination with respect to Mars port. Well, uh, let's plot it all out. If we need something to bring us in, that's quite possible. We've got plenty of things. So that's a maneuver to match orbits. Hmm, 563 plus 477 is... we don't have that. We do not have that. So we're going to have to take a somewhat different tack. Let's not do the inclination adjustment there. Let's do it as part of the... burn to match orbits. Uh... Let's just keep an eye on what Phobos is doing. Take a look. Uh, where, where, what does it think it is exactly? What are you, Phobos? <laughs> it's going up and down. This is not right. This is so not right. I feel like I should restart the game, but it's just too funny. Okay, I've decided that maybe it'd be better to try and phase with it if we were in a lower orbit and I corrected the inclination as well. And so I'm going to spend the 744.2 we see here, though. Why it's ticking up, I have no idea. Um, is our target orbit actually changing? This might be important information. Uh, no, it does not seem so. So why is this ticking up at all? Right? That's not supposed to happen. Okay, I give up. Um, I'm gonna quick save, because uh, there's a bug here. And I am going to hope that everything is still okay for new casts here. And then we're going to do this node. It's quick saving, so it's taking some time. It's, it's a very busy save. Okay, right, well, let's do this sort of thing. Well, it's not ticking up now. No, it is. <laughs> yeah, it, it's changing on me. Here, here it's ticking up. There it's not, you note. Okay, v f yeah, let's, let's restart the game. Okay, well, I've reloaded, and Phobos is in the right place, at least in the tracking station, so that's good. Let's jump back to the light lander and UCAS and see what we can do. And hopefully the maneuver node isn't constantly changing on us. Okay, well, yeah, it's holding stable now. If we take a look at what we've got here, we've got 735.3 meters per second and then a relative speed of, let's say, 90, which means those sum up to 825, which is something that we have. We have that amount, so let's let's try it. Let's try it. Let's hope that those numbers are all correct, and it's not fooling me about that encounter or anything. It shouldn't be if it's gonna tell me the actual separation number and relative speed like that. Seems legit. Okay, selling fuel down and ignition. Okay, I think I should just uh, RCS it from here. Though that does depend on whether the RCS is a good ISP. It does have a good ISP. I mean, not as good as the Gemini Lander engines, but not that bad. Then again, we are a little bit tight on the margins here. So, good thing we didn't actually try another landing at Phobos, huh? Yeah, we did just about the right amount of hopping around. Okay, that's a minimum. RCS off. 
Let's reorient to the sun while we are on our way. Okay, yeah, I'm not thrilled with the margins here. Um, we've got 103 meters per second and it's looking like 89 meters per second is what we have to kill off. Now we've got five seconds of burn time. We do have throttling engines. The Gemini Lander engines do throttle down to 10%. So we can do this with reasonable precision. But after that, we've only got 14 meters, 13 meters per second, really. So probably we'll have to send the uh, UDMH depot out. Let's start turning it uh, negative relative velocity to the target. And I don't care how long it takes to close the distance. I'm trying to save as much fuel as possible. 10 meters per second left. We'll get to 1.275 kilometers in 2 hours and 34 minutes over there. Actually, that says separation 4.7 kilometers, so actually over there. More than half an orbit away. I wonder if pur purging our waste would help, but I can't actually bring up the ship manifest window for some reason. Okay, relative velocity is minimal, and I want to point at target, actually. It has sort of spun us a little bit awry. You can see the tiny bit of fuel we have. Erazine, 4 units out of 1,379. NTO, 2.93 units out of 1,368. We are definitely going to have Mars port turn so that one of the docking ports is facing us. We are not going to do any complicated maneuvers. We're going to try and glide straight in kind of thing. Okay. That should do. So we get to 60 meters or so, and at that point we're going to have to burn off this uh, 1.6 meters per second, of course. So we have to watch out for that. Let's switch to Mars port and make sure it's targeting us and has an appropriate docking port facing us, which is, well, let's see, that's there. Could just dock it on the tail here. Okay, we look reasonably in line, but it's still saying close approach distance 98 meters. I'm going to turn Smart ASS off and just have it hold that position for now. It took a long time to actually turn. And I'm not too sure which one is right, this or Marsport. Okay, we sure seem lined up, so I'm guessing that the close approach distance is not 50 meters. Okay, it's saying 7 meters now. Well, that's better. 4 meters per second to work with. We better get it right. Now, in real life, not all the fuel in the tank is usable. There, Some of it just sort of sits at the bottom and doesn't flow properly. Residuals, they're called. And some of them just sort of end up in the chamber and are unusable, but... We don't have to worry about that here. Every drop is potentially usable here as long as the fuel mixture is fine. Actually, we'll probably end up with too much erosine at the end of the day. So we got a tiny bit of residual because of that. Two meters per second left, and we docked. Well, can't get more precise than that, I suppose. Philippe and UCAS are back together again. We successfully handled our Phobos missions. Before I forget, let me, uh, uh, what can we transfer science? We need to transfer science. There's no other way to transfer science from pod to pod. Oh, maybe ship manifest works? Aha, okay, good. I was wondering. Okay, Mark 1 lander can advance to Gemini Cabin. I hope this works. Okay, it says that it's in the Gemini cabin, let's see. Oh, that's wrong Gemini cabin, that's the lander cabin. That's not what we want. Okay, let's verify, yes. Review stored data. Indeed, it seems like the data is properly stored in the right cabin. And we're good. All right, so with everything back together again, 
and we are now I suppose ready for our mission to the surface of Mars yep I'll say thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed this video if you did enjoy this video please do press like if you have any comments or suggestions please leave them in the comment section below and I'll see you next time